Okay, guys, welcome to Astove. Um, you know, if you if you want to know where Astove is, it's very simple. You take a map of the Indian Ocean, turn it upside down, and that's where we are. We're right at the back, right at the bottom end, in the absolute middle middle of nowhere. It's uh, extremely remote, extremely wild, and probably one of the most untouched places left around. Obviously, I'll be your head guide for the week. Um, then uh, I'll be looking after you guys. We'll also have Brandon, who will be with you guys this week as well. And then we'll also have uh, Stuart, who's our permit man. And uh, hopefully, he'll be able to get you guys in the right place in the right time for those points. Um, so this week on Astove, we're going to try to give you guys as best an experience as we can. Um, we're going to try to show you guys as much as we can all over the place, uh, try to get some fishing in the cliffs, try to get some fishing inside the lagoon, uh, looking for permit and milky water, which is pretty crazy, really unique to, to Asto fishing. Obviously, we've got some cool bone fish, cool triggers, and then what we all came here for is obviously the GTs as well. One thing about the Seychelles and flats fishing in the Seychelles, something that's often not spoken about is the quality of the bone fishing. The one with RTR and Astro, the bone fishing can be absolutely ridiculous. Besides fishing inside the lagoon for them, around the outside areas, around the surf, turtle grass, in the coral, I mean you can be fishing for six, seven pound bone fish with their backs completely out of the water in the surf zone. Classic combat fishing when you hook them, it's a full sprint try, keep trying to keep the line out the coral and out the rocks. It, it really is something that's not, not spoken about enough. The, the bone fishing in these areas truly must be some of the best bone fishing you can experience anywhere on the planet. It is, it is really, really breathtaking. So the permit on Astove is something really interesting. Um, we have spent a lot of time out here over the last few years and the permit fishing has become exponentially better every season. The challenge about the permit fishing in the lagoon is the water is often very, very milky and things happen very quickly. When we say very quickly, we mean in the milky water, you often see these fish at 12 foot from the boat, you know, a couple meters, couple feet away from the skiff. Things happen fast, you need to get the fly in the zone as quick as you can, and you only have a very, 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 very small room. You need to get that fly within range of that fish, and it's as close as you dare. You know, too close, he spooks, too far, he doesn't see it. So you've got a very small window to get that fly in the, in the right place, and uh, if you're lucky, it can happen. our day at the same time. So with regards to the different fish we fish for out here, uh, the one thing that makes Astrov really unique, specifically around with the GT fishing, 
because we have so many different scenarios that you can fish for these fish. Put pink on the right. Drop it, drop it. Drop, 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 drop. Hey, got it, he's got it. Um, something that's really unique to our stove is fishing for them from the cliffs. The cliffs is uh, uh, pretty exciting and pretty intense. So I think it's as hardcore as flats fishing can get. It's a uh, prehistoric volcanic rock, really sharp, really gnarly. Often big surf on the sides, but that's where the fish are. So it can get very intense and can be really, really, really fun. And besides the cliffs, we also have you know, classical flats fishing in and around surf areas. Um, in the surf itself, on the pushing tide, as the flats fill up around the outer rim of the atoll, uh, sort of really classic fishing, knee deep, crystal clean water, walking along, looking for singles, doubles, fish on rays, um, or whatever it might be. If you're lucky, you'll see them surfing down in waves. It can be really, really awesome. The lagoon inside our stove is uh, something, it's a little little uh, piece of magic that just hangs around. It's something that's not fished very often. Uh, we do fish it as much as we can, but it's obviously tidal, you know, tide dependent. But um, the GT fishing inside the lagoon can be pretty ridiculous. There's a jeet at nine o'clock behind the boat. I'm gonna turn you. Okay, you good, drop it there. Okay, wait for him, wait for him. Okay, strip, strip. Trip. Okay, set. Nice, good job. And then lastly, and obviously the most important part and the, one of the most incredible aspects of where we are is the mouth. That stove mouth is, you know, its legend precedes itself. It is, it is an incredible place. It is remarkably beautiful. And like any place, it funnels the fish, and that's generally where we can find some really nice fish, lots of fish, and obviously just be careful for the sharks. There you go, baby. The other option that we have is we also have a few boats. We often spend quite a bit of time outside teasing, um, which can be pretty cool. Hard water move, head outside, throw a teasing plug, and it's pretty exciting watching uh, a pack of 10 or so hungry jeets charging down the plug and you got to get the fly in front of them and uh, convince them to switch off the plug. So uh, for the GT fishing is pretty cool. We've got lots of different ways to do it and uh, normally it's a nice way to keep the rod bent through throughout the week. Okay, jeets up, he's coming, he's coming. Like your course. Very, very high. Um, yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to spend time on the cliffs. 
Uh, we're gonna have a nice big black popper, uh, throw the popper over in, this, in the milky water. What we're looking for and hoping for is that uh, when the water is really nice and high like us in the milky water, you get lots of jeets cruising around right up against the edge. It's only one setting. If we hook a fish here, he's got so much coral and so much stuff to break us off. So it's uh, just as hard and as tight and as locked down as you possibly can go. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be pretty epic. Yes. It's good! So this week uh, fishing with the guys from uh, from Black Flies was uh, really really awesome. We uh, we had some really cool fishing. We know the guys uh, managed to get a couple really nice jeets. We got uh, one nice fish over a meter. Um, nice big permit inside the lagoon. Lots of awesome bone fishing. Um, trigger fishing was really tough. Uh, we saw loads of them. We got the fly hooked a couple and just was really really challenging i think the guys had a crazy cool experience uh, we saw as much you know we saw everything that astove has to offer from teasing to skinny water bone fishing inside the lagoon um, to gts off the cliff uh, poling for permit and milky milky water it was an all-rounded really good astove week